Because of my video downloaders being glitchy, I had to rip those cutscenes from the ROM. However, I got a single cutscene when I was done with the rip. Suicide King Dash 01.AVI. It was a clip of 2 minutes and 58 seconds. It was not even in specific format. It came directly as an HD video, somehow. The cutscene began like the intro of For Faces of Evil, yet it was mute. All that I could hear was a faint, eerie static noise in the background. Pink was stretching in the screen, saying nothing. The next scene was different. When the king was drinking his wine, he did not move. There was no background at all. Pink zoomed in with the screen, immobile. For a split second, he had no face. I was getting really scared, because nothing of that was part of the game. It cut back to the king this time, who was surprised to say his face was my boy, mine, but he looked different. His hair and beard were white, and his pupils were red. His skin was pale. He was still mute. I felt like decades passed through before. Both scenes, like if he became older. The scene cut back to the place where Link was supposed to be. He was not there. Instead, a big stain of blood was on the bricks, and some windows were broken. The scene went back to the king, who stared at the scene for a few seconds, then went back to his wine slowly. He came up focused on Link again, but he was a little more abnormal. He was almost completely black. <laughs> sharp, bleeding shark-like teeth, the background was black and red, and there was eerie music in the background. The scene went black and mute for a second, and smile was left behind, with a pair of red pupils staring at me. I was then angrily scared out of the <laughs> falling on his back, with his eyes closed. I was sure he was dead. Now, now the title makes sense. He gave a suicide. How the Charles may have been poisoned. Who knows? Without any noise, he hit the ground, immobile. For a split second, his colors were different. There was an iron stack going through his chest. The triangle of his forehead was an inert cross. I did not want to continue, but my curiosity grew stronger and forced me to keep watching. There's, there was more darkness for a few seconds. A sword pointing down in the pierced head. It blinked in the dark for a few frames. Link's hand came down and pulled out. His, back, his black silhouette appeared on the red background. After two seconds of black screen, he said some sort of demonic whisper, but not during all scene. He went mute as he continued talking. When it went black again, he said something distorted. After I tried hearing it five times, he came clear. Kill anyone friendly. I was really scared at this point. Then, Guanam flew in like a bird through a cutscene. He had the older style. There was no sound. His speech ended. Link sword appeared. And the manic was first slowly viewed. He cut to Guanam again. Then, Link holding the sword and pulling it up. And then, Guanam again. When it turned black, there was a slower noise. Link's sword reappeared, but it was covered in blood. Cut to Link's silhouette with a different background this time. There was more black screen. And then Link's sword. He came in again and picked it up. This time he came killing a lot of people with the sword. I wasn't able to see their faces. I could just see the sword swimming and blood spilling. There were lots of screams and massacre noises. The screams were made, made me feel completely scared. Instead of a person who slowly raised his hand, they chopped it off. There's a chained man in the background struggling to escape while he watched Link kill two more people. He begged Link not to kill him, but Link ignored his pleas and cut him in half. For a split second, there was on the screen. There was more black screen. This time, it was longer. Link slowly came toward the screen, faceless with different colors. 
As they approached, random images appeared for a single frames. Hearing music was heard. After that, I got to bleed screen.